Welcome YouTube. Hello. Um, uh, I messed up real bad. Today was a uh, an interesting day. We're gonna explain while we play Getting Over It. I haven't told the VOD or the stream anything. I just wanted to get into it. Um, but I might be eating on camera. Uh, I will mute myself if I have to eat. But um, yeah, if you guys don't remember, last time we uh, made it very far and then we fell all the way to the bottom. And my mouse is in the way. Everything's like in the way. It's tangling with my with my wires. So let me just move some of this out of the way. Okay. Um, I have a pretty big desk and I still don't have enough space for for everything. Um, Cause this game requires so much. Oh my God. I can't even get over the twig anymore. <sighs> Um, so yeah, I had, a, I had a very long day today, uh, which is why I, uh, I mean, VOD doesn't know this because how would they, but I, I started streaming a little bit late. I needed some fucking rest so bad. There we go. Yeah, you can like, you can not get past this rock again until you go all the way up and then it like pushes you all the way down. What is happening to me? What did they, did they change the controls since last stream? Cause I can't do shit right now. Um, Anyway, yeah, so, uh, today, okay, if you guys watched Played Up yesterday, the Played Up VOD, um, I think it's the sixth one I've done ever, maybe, or maybe it was, I think it was six this month, seven ever. Anyway, um, I was playing Played Up with Ellie and Phoenix, and I mentioned that I slept at, like, 8 a.m. last night, or, I guess, last morning, like, the, the morning before that VOD, or whatever, like, I slept at 8 a.m. Horrible decision, but... Also kind of worth it. I was trying to get work done and stuff. And I was I was doing stuff, you know. And, um, you know, it was, uh, it was a bad decision. But I thought, okay, we'll, you know, we'll fix this the next day. The next day, I was looking at all the work I needed to do. So this weekend, I don't know what it is. My All my friends and I just have not been able to work this weekend. It's been a nothing day or nothing weekend. Like, everyone said... Come on, be for real. I thought you said you were going to remove randomized alert. Crow, fucking don't start with me today. <laughs> Do not start with me. I'm going to lose my fucking mind, actually. Um, so, you know, I had a lot of work to do now because the entire weekend just was wasted. Like, I had so much free time and I just couldn't work. Uh, I could not get anything done. So, it all got stuck on Sunday night. Like, there was there was nothing I could do. Sunday evening, I just had to. Um, also, I'll remove it after February. I said that already. <laughs> like, I can't do both. I can't stream every day and also do stream stuff behind the scenes. I just don't have time. <laughs> no, 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 we're good, we're good. We're good. Sorry, I was a little aggressive, as always. Uh, <laughs> this one time you decided to apologize even though I'm aggressive every time. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so... <sighs> I, I'm doing so bad, by the way, I feel like. I'm like, I fell all the way back down again. Which, I feel like, I've I, last stream I never fell at this part, I don't think. So, we're rusty. Anyway, um, so, I basically had to stay up again to work. Um, you know, I'd stayed up till 8 a.m. trying to work and I got nothing done. So, the next day I had to try to work. Again, got nothing done. It was like 5 a.m. I was like, okay, I'll sleep now. I'll wake up at 8, so I got like 3 hours of sleep. I actually woke up at like 9, but I think I slept at like 6 eventually, so it, was, it all added up to me getting maybe three, two to 3 hours of sleep. Um, horrible. Uh, you actually said this time, yeah. Um, so, yeah, anyway, I, uh, over the past two days, I've had basically three hours of, three, 6 hours of sleep between the two days, I think. So... I had to go to class today. Now, on Mondays, I have th four classes in a row, back to back to back. Uh, you have to have 30 minutes between each class, uh, just for everyone to get in and stuff. But, um, you know, basically back to back. Like, 30 minutes is not enough. I have to walk and stuff. It's just... It, and you have to find a seat. And uh, basically, the 30 minutes doesn't really matter. Like, you are basically just working back to back. So I skipped one of them, uh, the first one, because I was just like, screw it. I mean, uh, I don't have the energy for that right now. And I went for the second one, and my energy was at an all-time... Like, I don't think I've ever been more drained. <laughs> I was destroyed. I was in 
Dude, I, I like look at me play right now. I this stream is gonna go maybe one or two hours. I just wanted to stream to let you guys know what my life is right now, uh, cause I had such a day today. Um, but yeah, this is not gonna go long, cause I need sleep so bad, actually so bad. Um, anyway, I'm so drained. So I had to go to class today, cause I had uh, a quiz. So it was like. Now, okay, four classes. The first one got canceled. Or canceled, I say. Hydrate. Thank you, Crow. Appreciate it. Okay, so... The first class, I skipped. Not canceled, but I skipped. Whatever. The second one, I had a quiz at the end of the class. So I had to go for that. The third one didn't really matter. Like, I could skip it if I wanted. But then the fourth one, I... Uh, knew that we were gonna have an assignment in class and I've missed every single one of those assignments so far Because every time I go he doesn't do an assignment and every time I uh, don't go he does one So I was like, okay, I have to go because I can't miss another assignment Well, I can like it's not that big a deal, but like I'd rather not, you know, I'd rather get those points so I was screwed. I, I had to go to campus. There was nothing I could do and I had to stay there until 7 p.m. um and that's just when class ended. I still had to get home after that. But yeah, it was it was rough. So um, on basically no sleep, I went to campus. Um, I took my quiz and I was let out of the quiz. I, obviously, I was let out of the room as soon as the quiz was over. So I was let out like 15 minutes earlier than most classes are let out. So there was no rush around campus. So I went to one of the sh uh, stores and I grabbed an energy drink and I grabbed some grapes. I had eaten a pack of almonds before uh, before I left for campus and that's it. I had one pack of almonds. So I was like, okay, I'll get some grapes. Those will help. Um, now, here's the thing. If you don't know, I don't drink caffeine ever. Caffeine is not for me. Um, I had an energy drink once in September because back then I was working uh, a job a part-time job alongside college and I was also home alone for a lot of that time so it was really hard for me to like cook and you know clean and do my homework and do my work work and like yeah it was just all too much right so back then I had one energy drink had a total breakdown because I don't drink caffeine and I chugged it and it was on an empty stomach I think which you're not supposed to do for any drug ever keep, keep in mind caffeine is a drug um so you have to be real careful with it and I wasn't so you know that was rough. That was, you know, so I haven't had caffeine since September um, or maybe October. I think it was September. And um, anyway, I got that energy drink and I thought, okay, if I eat the grapes and if I drink this one slowly throughout the day, it'll be fine. So I, you know, drank it mostly st slowly and I had the grapes first uh, before I started even opening it or anything. Uh, and then, dude... Oh my gosh. I don't know. I just went insane. Like, I was so excitable. and But I was also, like, I felt sick. And I just felt horrible. And, I, like, at some point, I was shaking. Uh, and I was I was in... The, the, the third class is one with my friends. So, they were sitting next to me. And they saw me shaking. And they were, like, low-key worried for me. Because <laughs> they were like, hey, man. Are you okay? Um, which I appreciate. Um, and... Yeah, it was just rough. And, like, I had already had not the best weekend. I mean, like, playing with Ellie and Phoenix was awesome. And I love playing Played Up. But, like, I had a rough weekend because I didn't get any work done. I felt horrible. So, uh, you know, I... I, I <laughs> we actually got... Not yelled at. Uh, my professor was really nice. Oh, Stretch. Thank you, Phoenix. Thank you for Stretch. My professor was really nice for that third class. He came up to us and whispered and was just like, Yo, you guys are, like, a little loud. Can you please keep it down? Because I can hear you from the front of the lecture hall. And I felt so bad. I felt so, so bad. Because I have a lot of respect for that professor. And I just... I was so excitable because of the caffeine that I, I think I just came off a little disrespectful. Which I felt horrible about. Um, and... I'll just try to make it up to him by being a good student in the future. Um, but, you know, I don't think he would blame me if he knew what was going on. Um, whoops. There we go. Um, so, yeah. Uh, insane. Um, and then, oh my god, we're back here. Okay, nice. That's good. Um, so, then I, uh, oh my god. I was losing my mind. 
Uh, so after that third that third class, I had to put my head down because I felt so sick. Like I felt horrible. Uh, I went to pee after because if you don't know, like if you just if you uh, they call it break the seal, then you, the drug will you know kind of relax a bit. It'll chill. So that's exactly what happened. I felt better, and I started feeling worse again because I still had a, uh, too much. Which here's the thing: last time when I went to get an energy drink uh, in September. I literally searched up which one had the most, and I specifically went for that one. I think it was Prime. Uh, it had like 20, 200... I feel like it was like 200 milligrams or whatever of caffeine, and the other ones had like less, like a little less. So anyway, this time I went for a monster, and I was like, okay, you know, maybe it'll be better because I'm drinking it slower, and it has less caffeine and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, no, it was still bad. It wasn't as bad as last time, but it was still really bad. And um, I ended up feeling... God, atrocious. Um... So yeah, and then I had to go to my last class, and there was an assignment, so that's good that I went, but it was difficult, to say the least, to get through all that. Um, and then yeah, I just had anxiety the entire time. Like, caffeine just does that, just makes you anxious, especially if you have too much. So, um, eventually I made it through, I made it through all the classes, I don't know how. Uh, I actually got a lot of work done before everything went to shit. Like, but I think before I took the caffeine, I I uh, got a decent amount done, and then just to keep going, I had to take more. Just because I also had to drive home, by the way, which I'm gonna get to in a second. But um, yeah, it, it was it was bad. Uh, anyway, I realized that to get back to my car, I'd have to walk again, like I did on Thursday. Um, I mentioned it on Thursday's stream, I think. Um, or Friday's VOD, you know, because it comes a day after. But, um, yeah, I had to, I had to, uh, walk, which was another 30 minute walk, something like that. And that was tiring. <laughs> that was, uh, pretty bad because I was, I was coming down from the caffeine a little bit, but I was like still really not feeling the, the best. Uh, and eventually, I did it. I, I started driving home. Uh, about 15 minutes into driving home, my vision was, like, going a little blurry. Not blurry. It was just a little bit unfocused. And I was like, oh, my God. I feel horrible. This is the worst. <laughs> what have I done to myself? I felt so bad as well because my, my friends were, like, worried for me. And they were, like, checking on me. And I was like, dude, I did this to myself. Like, it's all my fault. Like, I shouldn't have stayed up. I shouldn't have taken the caffeine, you know. Should have eaten, at least. Like, it was so many insane decisions but it felt like the right decision to me at the time because listen i'm a college student who's also streaming every day who's also trying to keep up a social life like I, I i try to see my friends a lot like i really do um and it's it's a lot you know i knew february was gonna be hard we're coming up to the end i feel like this is like this is like the stream you would expect from like a like this is like the intermission stream you know this is like w before we get to, like, the big fun finale stuff, you know? I just need this stream to, like, relax. Because then tomorrow we're going to do more get getting over it to, to uh, really finish this um, game. Because I'm hoping maybe we'll finish it tomorrow. We also have... Oh, no. Actually, tomorrow's the last possible day. Because then Wednesday we're going to do Phasmo with Cheeky Lily and Phoenix, most likely, I believe. They all confirmed, but I haven't checked with them again. But I'll check with them again and make sure. Uh, and then... Um, Thursday, shh, wait, yeah, yeah, and then Thursday is, um, which is the last day of February, is going to be, um, whoops, is going to be, uh, Fall Guys with Phoenix and Ellie, we haven't played Fall Guys in a minute, I don't think we did at all this entire stream, uh, this entire month, and, uh, it seemed like a fun game to end, end this, end this event on, you know, because it's kind of an iconic game, and I'm playing with my friends, like, some of my best friends, so, um, <sighs> yeah, so basically this one's gonna be just kind of a relaxed stream. Uh, I really don't have the energy to be all over the place, and I certainly don't have the energy to go longer than... I mean, we're 15 minutes in, and I'm already dead. <laughs> uh, so I, I really doubt we're gonna make it longer than an hour. I'd like to make it to at least an hour, uh, but yeah, this one's gonna be a short one, guys. Because I, I desperately need some rest, but... um. Yeah, and I actually still have a lot of work to do, so tomorrow I've got to grind out my work like crazy. 
Same with Wednesday. I have an essay due that I haven't even looked at the fucking directions for, which is going to be interesting. There we go. Um, but yeah, so that's why I was a bit late. I got home, immediately started eating. I actually could have been ready by 9 uh, if I wanted to, but I decided, you know what, screw it. I want to, like, I was going to end early anyway, so who, who fucking cares? Like, I was never going to reach the 3 hours, so who cares if I don't start at 9 on the dot? Because it's not like I'm going to end by 12 regardless. Um, so I, um, I decided to go take a shower just to relax. I wasn't that dirty. I mean, like, you would think that walking for 30 minutes from campus to campus would be kind of gross, but it's actually like, it was really nice weather today. Um, but yeah, I made it home. Don't drive, uh, like that. <laughs> like sometimes you have no choice, right? I had no choice. There was nothing I could do, but. If you can, try to get enough sleep. Uh, I'm hoping... Uh, I have a lot of work to do and I want to do some of it tonight, but I think the play is actually for me to just... Uh, just go to sleep, to be honest, and deal with it tomorrow. Like, I... I <laughs> this is like... This is going to sound like a humble brag. Walking for 30 minutes is gross. You need to walk more? No, I mean, well, it's like through a city and stuff. Like, everyone's smoking and stuff. All the air quality is, is, is not good. It is kind of gross. Also, like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's gross outside, dude. Uh, especially if you're walking kind of in the sun. Like, today it was more sunset, or, like, after sunset. But some days it's around sunset time, so it's still out, so. For 30 minutes? 30 minutes is, is a lot. Yeah, Ellie, what are you fucking talking about? You sweat at least a little. I'm not saying it's, like, the fucking, I'm not saying it's a fucking decathlon. I'm just saying... Yeah, you sweat a little, it's kind of gross. It's like, it can be a little gross. And also, I'm in a city with smoke pollution and weed pollution and stuff, like, everywhere. Like, it's I smell a little bit bad, a little bit like a city. Probably. But it wasn't too bad. Oh, fuck. And, like, honestly, it wasn't even that bad. I got home and, I like, I didn't smell bad or anything. Like, I, I didn't feel sweaty. But, like, I it is understandable that you could be, feasibly... Depending on what kind of day it is and stuff. 30 minutes is like 2 miles. 30, well, okay. 30 minutes was like 1 mile for me, but whatever. <laughs> I think it was like a mile and a half. I know it was over a mile. Um, Because it told me to take a right turn at 1.1 miles. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I think... I think Ellie's in the wrong here. I think most normal people... But then again, he lives in a city. It's different for different people. Like, I don't walk anywhere. I don't do cardio. I fucking hate cardio. I'm this, The reason I walk is for the cardio, really, because I could just wait for the bus. Uh, it was faster to walk, and I knew I had stream today, so I wanted to... I mean, I ended up being late anyway, but, like, I would have been even more late. Um, you car everywhere? Yeah. That's the thing. Not everyone's used to walking everywhere. So, basically, Ellie, fuck you. <laughs> basically, fuck you, because not everyone's used to it. Um, it's different for different people. Um, because like none of my friends want to walk the the distance I walk either. Like it's not just me. Most of them are like, "Are you? Did you seriously walk? Like it's like an event to walk from." Yo, Roth, three stream streak. Let's go. Oh, why did I do that? God damn it. Okay, at least I didn't fall off the car. Jesus. Go all the way back to the beginning. That would suck. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, it, it, it's like an event to go from the, the walk that I do for some people. Like, I know some people have bragged about it. And, uh, like, the first time I did it, I was like, yo, I did it. I walked from this to this. Now it's just a thing I do. Um, I mean, it's the second time, but honestly, it, it, it is pretty easy. So I, I'm probably going to do it from now on. It's good cardio. Uh, cardio is good for you. If you just work out with doing no cardio, that's not great. When you came here and we walked from the pool place... To the pizza place. <laughs> I tortured you. It honestly wasn't too bad. It was more walking than I'm used to. I'll, I'll be honest. Like, it was. But it wasn't too bad. Like, again, it's... Uh, when I say gross, I don't mean, like, you're fucking sweating and disheveled and gasping for air. I'm just saying, like, you do get a little bit nasty. Like, just the slightest bit. Enough that you feel a little bit... Maybe, like, the slightest bit sticky or you just feel a little, you know. But, Yeah. I don't mind walking. It's, it's honestly a good walk. I don't like that so much of it is uphill, but other than that, it's a pretty good walk. 
But, um, fuck, man, I'm tired, man. I'm tired. After this, I'm gonna knock the hell out. I swear to God. Um, I'm hoping we beat this game tomorrow. We'll have three hours tomorrow, hopefully, uh, if, if all goes well. Um, it's... There's something, uh, that's stressing me out for tomorrow, so if my mental health just takes a slight decline, then, you know, uh, <laughs> then, you know, it might be hard for me to go for three hours. Uh, but we'll see. I don't, uh, not that I want to walk ever because I don't walk well. That's fair. Old man Roth. Old man dad. Uh, I don't walk to coffee and burritos. That's about it. Yeah, but you don't leave the house. You and Ellie, man. Um. Oh my gosh. People in South, in South East, East Asia, you go 20 C is hot for you. That's cold. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, everything's relative, right? Uh, dude, I hate temperature talks because people are like, oh, you're cold. And I'm like, bro, we <laughs> we live in different climates. Like, it's like if a polar bear went up to a fucking tiger and went, oh, you're cold. Like, yeah, no shit. One of, the, one of you lives in the fucking rainforest and, or in the jungle and the other one lives in fucking Antarctica. Or is it the Arctic? One of, you, one of them lives in somewhere. I don't know. I don't know where which one's which. I know polar bears don't fucking live with penguins or whatever because that's like a common riddle um <laughs> yeah you have worst problems you're probably real fucking high on acid that's probably your worst uh worst problem um but yeah man dude today was i don't know how i survived today i'm gonna be honest that was one of one of the most insane days i swear to god oh my gosh i like i still feel sick i still feel absolutely sick to my stomach beer begin all right he's gonna go save his sister for real um, yeah, yeah, like, I don't know how long I can even go, <laughs> I don't know how long, I was hoping for an hour, but even an hour feels a little tough, but I want to make some progress, I want to see if we can get a little further than we did last time, but if I do stuff like that, then, you know, fucking, <laughs> then we're not gonna get anywhere, so, but I'm, I'm picking up on the controls again. Can you go save my sister because I don't want to drive? I definitely don't want to drive. And then tomorrow, I got to go back to campus for longer because I have to do some other stuff on campus other than class. And then Wednesday, I got to write an essay, which I'm not excited about. Well, tomorrow, I have to read, like, probably hundreds of pages, to be honest. If I actually add everything together, probably hundreds and hundreds of pages. I definitely won't get through everything, but I need to get through as much as I can, like... I, I gotta really lock in, because a lot of college is just reading, and it gets so tiring. Um, it gets really overwhelming. So, you know, we gotta do that. Which I'm not excited about at all. I'm not excited about it at all. I'm taking some really interesting classes, it's just... It's getting a little much, you know? It's not even just February. Like, to be honest, would I really work in these three hours after I came back from campus? Would I really? Or would I just watch YouTube? <laughs> you know? Like, I think I would work a little, but I feel like the amount of time that gets taken away from February isn't as much as I think it is. Um, in reality, this is just college for you. I mostly hide my stress and and sleepiness and stuff as to the best ability that I can. Like if you see me tired, that means that I I am like real fucking tired and I couldn't hide it no matter what. Like I know yesterday was it yesterday? It was one of the played up streams where I was just I started completely going. I think both of them I completely went kind of nonverbal near the end because I was just out of it and I was also dead focused on the game. Um. But that's because, you know, like I said, I couldn't get any work done, so I wasn't getting any sleep. And that was fucking me up. And now, um, yeah. Like, Phoenix and Ellie know this because, you know, I, I see them outside of stream too. Like, I've said this before. Like, it is, even for me as a smaller streamer, I've had to deal with parasocial relationships. Like, you guys don't know me. Like, I am very similar to who I am in real life, but there is, like, a bit of an act here. And a lot of times I do have to hide when I'm super tired or upset or just not feeling well. And, um, yeah, today I just couldn't. Today, today it was impossible. 
I'm like trying to just smile, but man, was it a bad day. Oh my gosh. Like, here's the thing. Never, never take a full fucking energy drink on an empty stomach if you don't, especially if you don't, like, don't do it ever, but especially if you don't drink caffeine ever. Like, I'm so, I'm so caffeine weak, you know? Like, I, I, I've, I, I've had so I've probably had the amount of caffeine in my life that like Jasmine's had in one day. I'm telling you, like, <laughs> like it's and probably not even one of her worst days. Like I don't drink it at all. I just um, yeah, it's. I I just thought it would help, uh, and it did honestly. Like it woke me up enough to be able to drive home and 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 do everything I need to do. Because otherwise, the drive home would have been pretty risky. I think. Um, and I don't really have any other choice, so I would have just had to go and hope I don't fall asleep, which is not good. Uh, but yeah, it's... Oh my gosh, please. Okay, alright. We're not even getting past this part anymore. I don't like that staircase. It's difficult. But yeah. I'm excited to be home. I've been out all day. I've been out since... What, 12? I think, I think like, or 11? I think it was a good eight hours on campus. Which, now that I think about it, that's just a nine to five job. And that's not even counting commute time. Like, I'm counting eight hours in my commute. So, whenever I got a job, it's gonna suck. I don't like that we are expected to work so often. I know that this is so, like, kid of me, right? Like, it's so, like, oh, Gen Z, nobody wants to work anymore. Like, <laughs> like, all that bullshit. But, like, Look, I get it, right? Working's important for um, for society or whatever. Uh, but we're getting to a point where robots can take our jobs, and I think we should start getting to a point where nobody needs to work anymore. It shouldn't even be nobody wants to work anymore. Like, I've said this for so long. Why Why do we care so much about AI taking over art? It, it It's made for math and science and coding. It's made for it. It's made to help us progress in those fields. So why the fuck would we make it do art and take away something that is all about human, you know, uh, input. And instead, why don't we just fucking make it do math and all that stuff <laughs> that, like, like, it's made... Dude, AI and coding is, like, it's just math. It is just math. Uh, <laughs> if you take a computer science course, or if you start pursuing the major like I did and then quit, because uh, it was boring as hell... You will see it's just a glorified math major. It, it's the same thing. Like, if AI started taking... And, like, they wouldn't even be able to take over the job fully. Like, apparently, apparently, I don't know. Accounting is actually difficult. I don't know. Scrub was telling me this. He was like... But then again, Scrub's a business major. So, you know, do you really want to take him at his word? But he was like, yo, accounting's actually difficult. You can't make a robot. Just do it. And that's whatever. Fine. Okay. Even if you even if you want to believe that, even if you want to believe we can't make an algorithm to do that, which I don't believe because there's very strict rules, right? Like all of the rules are very strict for what what for how accounting works, right? It's math, it's laws, it's it's like specific stuff. But whatever, even if you can't do that, it could augment it way more and it could augment coding and web development stuff way more than it can augment art. Like why do we care about augmenting art so much? I don't know. Why do we want to just churn out? I mean, especially now that streaming services are in play. Like every time, like a service like that comes to play, it completely destroys the that place's economy, right? Like when Spotify came around, the amount of money people made went down to nothing. I think we talked about on stream recently. Ellie was like, "Yeah, I, I don't remember who it was. It might have been Drake or someone, but like some big. It might have been. I feel like for some reason my brain is going little little." Yachty, little Yachty, is that his name? Uh, I don't know. I don't know who it is. Uh, but we were talking on stream a, a couple days ago, and Ellie was like, "Yeah, some some artist came out and was like, yeah, he's made like cents off of his music, and he's like a big, big uh, musician, right? Like, he should be making far far more than he did." And my thing is just like, yeah, like Spotify, Spotify essentially did that. It's it's Spotify's fault at the end of the day. Uh, that that so little money is coming in and don't you think streaming services do the same thing? I mean essentially because they're taking all that money away from movie theaters and stuff whenever they Especially when they go straight to streaming like 
I've been looking at movies to watch because I want to go out with my friends, and we could barely find any. Like there was there was no movies to watch because theaters are kind of not dying, but they're definitely weaker, right? Um. Okay, come on. Now we haven't got up this rock wall before, so if we can do this, that'd be real nice. Hello, hello, welcome, penguin. Um, so I don't know. My thing is just like, why are we even trying to, to just churn out media? Uh, maybe I guess the re- Fuck off! Uh, I guess the reason could be like, oh, we're not making enough money, so we have to keep churning out stuff so that we just make more over time. But I'm just like, I don't know, make something really good and then put it on like cable or some shit so everyone has to just watch it there. I don't know. How'd you sleep? Uh, we just talked about that. Not well at all. <laughs> today was, today was kind of crazy because I didn't get any sleep. But um, if you want to hear the whole story, you can go back in the vod. I don't feel like, I don't want to reiterate it because I, I feel like it'll just turn to me like just whining the entire stream. Um, but yeah, I, I'm I'm very very tired. So this is gonna be a very short stream. Like, thirty more minutes is the hope. Um. Unless we start progressing, if we start making a lot of big progress, I'll just go until I fall or until I beat the game. If we beat the game, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be honest. Like, I don't really have any plans for tomorrow other than getting over it. So if, if we somehow win tonight, well, that's going to be an issue. <laughs> uh, for the first time ever, I don't want to beat a game. Um, But yeah, I don't know. The AI topic's interesting, but my, my, my main point with all of that was, yeah, I don't think, I think we can get to the point in society where we don't have to work anymore. Like, we don't have to. Uh, and I know that people would be like, oh my god, communism, socialism. I'm saying that we make the robots do our jobs and all of us do nothing, right? Like, how is that even, that's not even socialism, because you're not relying on other people. Like, socialism is like taking other people's money to, like, pay for welfare and stuff or whatever, but like... Or whatever. Like, I'm saying this in a super sleepy and also... Like, sleepy way and also just a very quick way. So I know that that's, like, kind of bullshit what I just said. I understand that. Before I get... I hate people who just get all semantics with me. Because, uh, like, most of the time, I just say shit quickly just to... Because that's not the main point of what I'm saying. And then people will be all semantics and be like, Oh, actually, that's not what that me means. I'm Like, I get it. I understand. What I said isn't perfect. But you understand the gist of what I'm saying. Like... If we make the robots do everything for us, you know, <laughs> like, then I'm just saying. Anyway, I don't think that's really socialism. That's just kind of efficiency, really. Um, yeah, I don't know. Because the whole system is based on, like, everyone works for each other or whatever. Um and like we all do services and then we have a common currency so that we didn't have to keep bartering or whatever but i'm just like if robots do all the work for us then like for example like the reason you pay for food is because someone had to work to get that food right but if robots make the food then they don't need to make extra money because what would that money even do for them so then you know i don't know <laughs> again this is just me ranting about just what ideally i would love which is just a world where we don't have to fucking deal with money and we could kind of just live like at the end of the day if we really wanted to and if humanity didn't care about progress or anything we could just be on all on beaches just eating grapes that we found in in the woods and you know living our lives like they're really there's nothing that said we need to build fucking computers and do all this stuff right uh and obviously it's good that we progressed but it's an interesting topic about like like it's good but <laughs> Is it? <laughs> like, would you rather... I guess this is like the, the apple, the the Garden of Eve or whatever. Um, Garden of Eden, sorry. I, I'm not religious, but I know like the gist of that story is like, would you rather have knowledge or and, you know, whatever. Isn't it like knowledge and limited life? Like you, you get knowledge, but you have to get kicked out of paradise because you have knowledge or something. It's like that. It's like, would you rather have... Uh, a pleasant life, but you as a society get nowhere? Or would you rather have fucking constant stresses and, and stuff, but you as a society are, like, collectively getting better? 
once we get to self-driving cars i'm good to stop progressing like i think we we probably want uh travel uh, uh space travel um that's probably like a big thing that people would want just because it means we can't get wiped out by one threat like especially if we get out of the solar system we can't get wiped out in five billion years whenever the sun explodes which like also by the way you know who who even knows we're gonna make it five billion years this is a this all goes back down to a more in like i'm talking Right now, I'm talking society, right? I'm talking, like, community. But it all also goes down to a more individual level, which is something I've been thinking about, which is, like, how much do you think about the future before you just go, I gotta live in the moment, right? Like, I was watching New Girl, right? I was watching New Girl last night um, to make myself feel a little better because I wasn't working. <laughs> and or I think I was doing it while working or something. And, you know... Um, Je there's an episode where Jess is trying to it's like Thanksgiving and she's trying to get her parents back together her parents are divorced she invites both of them for Thanksgiving and she tries to parent trap them uh, and they kiss at some point they have like a little hookup or whatever and then um, and then Jess is like oh my god I did it I got them back together and they're like no we're not back together and then Jess and her mom have a little conversation and her mom just says a, f a line that really just stuck with me which was just like Jess, you need to learn to calm down, right? Like, it's all just life. And I was just like, this is just a silly sitcom, right? But it has its moments where it's like, yeah, like, at the end of the day, if you spend all your fucking life stressing, then, you know, that's the life you, you led. Like, what are you stressing for if not... Like, I don't know. It's like we all get one life and you want to... You want to just enjoy it, right? Like... We all have these big aspirations and stuff, but at the end of the day, it won't matter after you're gone. Like, after you're gone, what'll matter is, like, like assuming assuming we have a consciousness after we're gone, right? All that will matter is that, you know, that we, ha that we liked our life, that we had fun, that we enjoyed, that we, like, got to so see what this world is that we've, that we've been born into. And even if you don't have a consciousness after, then what's all, what's even the point of anything? I think the point is just to enjoy. This is getting real fucking philosophical real quick. I'm gonna be honest. I have been taking a lot of social sciences courses and they've been making me so happy. I think it's so interesting to me. Um, so if this is not your thing, feel free to click off. Like, Loki, this stream is gonna be a bit weird because it's not just my goofy, like, fucking New Jersey self, like, yelling at people or whatever and being an asshole. Like, which I don't think I do all the time on this stream because I feel like that gets a little old. But, like... I think I do be, I do be a little, Zen, thank you for the raid, welcome, welcome everybody, Zen raid, how you doing, how you doing, uh, Zen, I, I, how far did you get with Escape Academy, did you finish it, um, welcome everybody, I don't know if there's anyone here who doesn't know me, <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I don't know who, who, uh, what, how our communities overlap, but if you guys don't know me, I'm Ari, um, I've been streaming daily, February, all that stuff. Today's a bit of a chill stream because I'm really tired. I talked about it at the beginning of stream. Um, but yeah, finished it. Let's go. She's way smarter than I thought. Dude, hell yeah. Didn't she, didn't she watch my stream of playing it, by the way? Just got to throw that out there. Zen, didn't you watch the stream <laughs> where I played it? Like you knew the answers a little bit, didn't you? <laughs> Am I lying? <laughs> I did actually, but I remember none of it. Mm hmm. Maybe you consciously didn't remember any of it. No, I won't take it away from you. I'm proud of you. That's good. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm glad you had fun. I tried to join uh I tried to join during class, but you didn't have closed captions, so I couldn't. And then uh I literally just got home and and um yeah. I used a few hints. I don't think I used any hints, did I? Uh well I used hints from the community. Uh I think people in the chat were helping me out at the time, which was sick. Um but yeah, I don't I don't remember using any hints from the game. Uh except for one, I think because I think there was uh, uh an achievement to use a hint, maybe. I don't know. No way you didn't use a hint for the turret. What was the turret? Can you remind me? Because it's been a it's been a solid minute. Which part that was. I also accidentally used a hint, yeah. I think I used one on purpose because I, I feel like I have a vague memory of there being like an achievement for it. So I like used one on some puzzle that I already knew the answer to or something. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm glad you have fun, dude. It's a, it's a good fucking game. I know you've been saying you've wanted to play it for a while. 
So I'm glad you finally got a chance. Picture word puzzle? Dude, I do not remember this game enough, I think. Oops. Pun to find the serial number or key to disable the turret. Damn, I don't remember this at all. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, guys. If you're here and you're expecting... I was just talking about this before you raided. If you're expecting, like, my normal, silly, goofy, like, kind of uh, crazy streams... Oh, damn. Phoenix was there, too. Damn. So both of my, my bestie friends, Ellie and, and Phoenix, were... Uh, not watching that's cool that's fine no i'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> that's my mod i actually shouted zen out in my discord you guys should join my discord i shout out some of my friends whenever i'm not live um so i was watching Zen before you started no worries no worries i'm fucking joking you guys are totally fine <laughs> but yeah um i was talking a little bit of philosophy and stuff because and like kind of social sciences it's not your standard stream i've been uh, I've been taking a lot of classes about social sciences, like sociology, philosophy. I want to take some psych classes. Um, but yeah, it's just, uh, I'm a dip. I've been thinking too much in break. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Take it, take a break. Uh, Zen, I'm not going to stream for long tonight. Uh, I had a really, really, really rough day. So, um, I might not see you again tonight, but I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, maybe, uh, or soon. But yeah, have a good night, dude. Get your, get your food, get all your stuff together. <sighs> oh my gosh. I, I feel like I'm going to pass out, dude. We got 20 more minutes before I feel like I'm going to end. Like, <laughs> I'm watching the timer because I really don't even want to go over an hour because I'm so dead. But yeah, we were talking about before the raid, um, just kind of this idea of like what life is meant to... Damn, it really... We're jumping from haha funny video game to like what is life about? <laughs> but I was just saying like, you know, we do all this stuff to like uh, try to progress society and stuff and we go through so much trouble to uh to, to to build all these machines and do all these things and make all this money and at the end of the day like life I, I don't even know what it's about right like um i thought for a while it was about my career right like partly about streaming right like i just want to build something right so i like doing passions like putting time into my passions and hobbies so i can do something like i don't expect stream to become profitable ever really because it's such a small percentage of people that are able to, able to become profitable from stream and it's just i would say it's a larger percentage of people who can become profitable from youtube um but even that is such a small percent that's like I, I, that's not i don't care about that that's fine whatever um because also, I don't want to get stuck in that grind fest. Like, I've seen... I think I'd burn myself out. Maybe if I make a little money from it or get a little notoriety for whatever I work on, that'd be cool. But, like, I don't think that's, like, a living. But, like, you know, if I make some good... Um, yeah, profitable is, or full-time... I guess, I guess profitable is doable, yeah, because I don't spend a lot of money here. But, like, full-time is, is a different thing. Um... But it's like, I don't even want to. Like, I don't want to stream fucking eight hours a day. Like, I think I'd lose my mind. But I don't want to do anything eight hours a day. I just want to... Really, I just want a subs job. <laughs> Comfy little couch, like, office job. Just get to be able to watch Twitch streams. <laughs> no, but, like... I think it's, like... It's just an interesting thing of, like... What do you want from life? Like, I, I, I had the realization that I think, like, my relationships are really what matters to me, right? Like, if I don't have my friendships and I don't have people who love me, then stream doesn't mean anything, right? Like, stream and my career and stuff are important to me. Like, I wanted to build this website for ages that I think would be cool, and I want to still do that at some point. And all of that is super, super interesting to me, and I love it. But my thought was just, like, if I don't have people around me to share my successes with i don't think i don't think there's any point to to doing any of it like what's the point if you can't enjoy it with other people right and like i don't know it's just an interesting thing to think about like we we we're so adamant about like oh ai is gonna be a new tech rev revolution and it's gonna change the world and stuff and like all these people are so quick to jump on this bandwagon to try to make some quick easy money. Same thing with crypto. It was like, oh, quick easy money, blah blah. blah. And I'm just like, you are wasting your life. <laughs> You're wasting your time trying to pull all these scams instead of fucking living and enjoying your life. And like, 
listen, they're probably enjoying a lot because of the money they're making, right? Assuming assuming they make any money, a lot of those scammers just fail and fail and fail. Or go to prison. Like, I think Sam, that one guy, Sam something, uh, he, he has officially been convicted, I think. Guilty. Anyway, um, for crypto stuff. Like, I don't know. It's just an interesting topic to me, which is like, what is the point of any of what we do? Like, we're just told kind of from a young age that like, all right, you're going to go into school and then you're going to go into college and stuff uh, and, and do all this stuff. Like, I like seeing like, Ellie, you're here now. And it's like, I'm just going to be complimenting you. But I like seeing your life, right? Because you like, you kind of seem to enjoy yourself, right? Like, you made music for a long time and that was your pa passion. And now it's not a big a th as big a thing, but like, it made you a bit of money or whatever, and it got you a little bit of notoriety and stuff, but not so much that you don't have privacy. Like, nobody even knows your real name other than me. <laughs> I know it. Um, but, like, that's life, right? Like, you get to just play video games with your friends, and you, you still work a job, but you're not working 24-7. Like, you're not in that hustle, grind set mentality. And I think that's kind of the point. Like, that's kind of, you know... That's that's the point. And it's different for everyone, right? Like, I don't want to live with my family when I get older. That's just not for me. But you're saving a lot of money by doing so, right? Like, you're... You know? Like, there's benefits. So, like, for you, it's fucking amazing. It's perfect. Um, I don't know. It's just an interesting thing to me. It's something I've been thinking about a lot. It's more like having a roommate. Exactly, yeah. For you, it's a roommate. For me, I would still be essentially living with my parents because they would not treat me like a roommate um which is why i don't want to but like it's different for everyone is my point like you i don't know it's just what is the point basically <laughs> and i don't mean that in a sad way because i'm i'm having a lot of fun streaming and stuff like everything feels real and feels fun it's just kind of a thing of like long term like you know i'm i'm working towards uh my diploma and, you know, I'm I'm doing this February thing, which has helped my growth a decent amount. Uh, we're doing a push for 400 followers in the last couple of days. I d honestly don't know if I'll make it. We're at, I think we're 16 or so away. Um, so if you, have, if you guys have friends who you think would enjoy my streams, anything, uh, if you want to suggest raids of people who you think would, like, want to collab or whatever, or whatever, I don't know. But, like, the 400 push is just a fun little thing. But at the end of the day, this is all just a fun thing, and I'm having fun. Um, but even if this were to grow, my point is just, even if I like, even if I became fucking XQC, it wouldn't mean anything if I didn't have my people around me. Right. I think that's like a realization I kind of had, which was just like, like, even though I disappear sometimes, like I haven't really played with like, because of February, I haven't seen some of them in ages. Whoops. If you become XQC, you can start talking fast in French Canadian. <laughs> Your dad isn't the type of gr bro that you do dick jokes with. Well, that's not a real bro, is it? <laughs> what kind of bro doesn't want to do dick jokes? No, I get that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That was just a realization I had. I was just like, it doesn't fucking matter. Like, also like, I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. I've been discussing this a lot with one of my friends um, as well. So I thought you guys might enjoy a little sneak peek into my life. Because <laughs> I do keep a lot of stuff separate. And I'm st like, we haven't even scratched the surface. <laughs> like, I don't like talking about my life too much. It's, I, I just want to entertain you guys and have fun and play video games with my friends, you know? But I thought this was a fun topic. Like, honestly, a kind of lighthearted topic. It, like, I don't know if it comes off as kind of dark because I'm talking about what does life mean and stuff. But I, I think it's a pretty lighthearted and fun topic. Um... Because it's just like, you know, you're talking about what means, what what is meaning to you, what brings meaning to your life. Like, I think that's a pretty good topic to, to discuss. But, um, you being in my room is probably the closest you got to my private life. Yeah, I know. I know. For a long time, I was like, oh, Ellie doesn't, like, Ellie and I are supposed to be best friends, but he doesn't want to let me into his private life or whatever. But I, like, I get it. Like, it, it's, we just have a different friendship. That's why, like, when I say I have, like, when I say, like, someone is my best friend, that doesn't mean they've replaced you. 
it's just that they're a different type of best friend, you know? Like, Ellie and I are different where, like, I don't share my public life. To, like, maybe I used to when I was younger, but I don't really share my public life, or pr sorry, private life with really anyone that much. I talk to Phoenix a little bit, uh, but, like, for the most part, I don't. You and I, we can go without talking for weeks, and it's like nothing. Exactly. Exactly. Um, like, every once in a while, we'll be like, we'll talk, like, real talk. But a lot of the times, it's just, like, politics or whatever. It's like, I don't know, just having one of those late-night insane conversations that went nowhere, you know? Um, come on. Come on. Place it down. Come on. We got it. I can get this. I, I can get this right on the corner. There we go. Perfect. Um... And then I just do that. Like, literally, fuck me. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh... Sorry, I need water. Um. Yeah. I would tell you what conventional friends between us. I'll not be the one to look after you and ask you how your day was. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah. That's why whenever I'm going through shit... I don't, I don't talk to Ellie. <laughs> and it's not because I don't like him or because, like, I'm upset that he won't talk to me. It's like, I just know that that is not the friendship we have. Like, uh, like yeah, conventional friend-wise, like, it, it's diff- But, like, he is still my one of my best friends. It's just that, you know, when I say I have another best friend or whatever, it's not replacing our eight or so years of friendship. Like, he's still my oldest and best friend. Like, or one of my best friends. But best friend is, like, different for different people. Like... It's all different. Like, I don't know. But yeah, like, he's he's great to have, all around, have around. But that's why, like, I've just, I don't know. It's, like I said, I've, I've had issues with parasocial relationships, sh ships and stuff. Because I, I think I do give off the vibe that I'm, like, completely myself on stream. I think I've gotten better about just being comfortable on camera and... Uh, fucking shooting the shit and you know like I can get real like today without getting into my personal life you know like there's a lot happening like a lot happening in my per personal life right now that I'm still actively thinking about right now and I've not even gotten close to mentioning it because that's just how I prefer to do things right like there are going to be people online who would prefer to share everything with their community that is not me I want you guys away from some of my personal stuff and that's not a zing on you and it's not me trying to be like extra cool and mysterious it's literally just it's not your problem like it's for me to live my life like you know <laughs> yeah no i'm really racist on camera i don't know what you're talking about what are you fucking talking about man <laughs> I like how there's this new bit of Ellie and I just trying to cancel each other. Like, I just said he calls me slurs all the time yesterday. Because he said that I called him the R slur, which is not what happened. Fucking hell. I have Venus, my online bestie, and my IR bestie, and they're different kind of same. Yeah. And, like, even, like, some of my online, like, best friends or really good friends or whatever, like, they're still... I still talk to them about real shit. Like, that's... But they're still... They're also still different from my IRL best friends. And... I don't know. It's... Or best friend. I only have one, really. <laughs> for In real life. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. It's it's just such an interesting topic to think about. Just, like... I don't know. All of it is. <laughs> well, we went on, like, a lot of different topics and... Ah, kill me! Oh, I knew it was gonna happen eventually. Fuck me. All the way back down here. <sighs> oh, well. Let's try to get back up, but we have, like, seven minutes left. Until I... Pass out. <laughs> No, but I'm having fun today. I honestly thought today was going to be kind of a bust because I was so fucking tired. But I'm having a lot of fun. This is... But yeah, yeah. Like, the... the. That's why... Like, I also... I, I prefer when people don't DM me. Like, fans don't DM me too much. Uh, and I've said this before. Because uh, I just... Like, I appreciate you guys, you know? And, you know, I'm willing to, to have fun little conversations if you make like fan art or if you like found a game you think i'd like or whatever but like for the most part that's what that's what the discord's for is like i always read all those messages i'll respond to everything you guys say in there if you you know whatever if you type in there but it's like it becomes a different thing when people dm me and that's why i try to like stay away from dms because i think there are a lot of people who are like oh i'm friends with ari 
And yeah, exactly. And I'm not even a private person. Like we all know that I'm much more extroverted than Ellie and Phoenix, right? Uh, like half, <laughs> like I go out pretty often. And meanwhile, Phoenix's roommate was terrified that they went out, that she went out once. <laughs> but like, I'm still a very like private person. I, I'm, I'm not going to share all my life story with you guys. Uh, again, maybe when I was younger, I might have. And maybe even when I first started streaming, I might have been like, what do I talk about? I don't know what to talk about. Let's talk about my life. But, like, yeah, it's it's just not me anymore. Like, I've learned to, to have that distinction. I think it's important to have that. And that's something that I've, uh, you know, as a, as a small streamer, I've talked to a lot of people who have seen me stream and been like, oh, I could do that. And I don't think a lot of them understand that it is pretty difficult. Like, I don't think I'm fucking doing nuclear science here, you know? Like, I, I'm not fucking engineer by streaming. But, um, you know, it does take a lot of practice to create, like, first of all, create a character that is, you know, kind of fake without being fake. Like, it is part of me, but it's a kind of exaggerated part of me while getting rid of other parts of me, you know? And it also... Also, just the fact that you have to be able to talk for hours on end about nothing. About fucking nothing. Like, what the fuck have I talked about today? <laughs> fucking nothing. <laughs> My issues, like, before I blew up, I was very, very approachable and still am to an extent, but that's kind of how we met. Yeah, 100%. And, I mean, I mean that that's another thing, right? Even though Ellie and I are actually friends, it's not a parasocial relationship. Like, I, here's the thing. I was never a fan of uh, that. This is not me being a dick. I wasn't a fan of Ellie before I met him. Like I, I didn't watch him. It's the same thing with uh, with fucking Etho. Like I just keep meeting people who are like pretty big and cool, and I just didn't really watch them because I I watch niche stuff to be honest. Like I watch like I I, I you guys know I watch Rooster Teeth and I watch Achievement Hunter, which are honestly kind of niche nowadays. Achievement Hunter's dead, so dog bark. But like whatever, I I watch very niche stuff. And I watched Sunny, which is also pretty niche, I'd say. New Girl, I feel like, is more mainstream than the rest of them. But even that's, like, that's not fucking Breaking Bad levels or whatever. Like, I'm very, like, kind of closed off to a lot of stuff people enjoy. So when I met Ellie, like, it wasn't, like, a parasocial thing, even then. But even now, it's not, like, a thing of, like, oh, we've become good friends and we talk about our feelings. Like, <laughs> and it's not... It, uh, before it i feel like that comes off in a way of like oh we're too manly no it's like we just don't like we just aren't at that point like that's that's just not the kind of friendship it is you know um and that's not a bad thing necessarily i think you do need people like that in your life who who you can talk to and i do have those people but not everyone needs to be that person like even now like when i when i have a problem sometimes there will be like a couple different people i'd be willing to go to and i'm like i don't need to go to all of them Right? Like, I can just have the conversation. But, like, it, they're essentially the jury now. Whenever I have an issue, I'm like, I go to my friends who I who I know I can talk to about my feelings, and I'm like, you guys say what you have to say, and I'll take all of your <laughs> all of your info into account, and then I'll take whatever the most popular opinion is. <laughs> Which is funny. Um, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I never really understood parasocial relationships because, uh, again, I, I, even though I've been a big fan of a lot of stuff and I've been super obsessed with stuff before, I never got into communities. I'm not a part of the Sunny community, even though I talk about it all the time and I make references to it all the time. Like when Rot started watching, I was so happy because I could finally talk to someone about it. I don't talk to anyone. Um, same with like same with Rooster Teeth. I'm in the Rooster Teeth Discord now because they have started doing discord events but otherwise i don't talk to anyone in there i don't really like talking to people like about my interests um so i never understood parasocial relationships you know um but now like this is gonna sound so humble brag again but like now being a streamer like i'm starting to understand how people get them right um <laughs> It sounds so bad, uh, but yeah, like I, I have had to already deal with it and it, it is like a thing of like, I understand, but you know, I'm not your best friend. <laughs> For the most part, that's why I just like to like, I don't shut off my DMs, just I don't, I don't I feel like that's rude. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to one day, but, um, but I, I don't like having conversations all the time with 
people who are, you know, fans. I don't know. It's interesting. But yeah, I don't know. It's been an interesting couple of days, honestly. I haven't gotten much work done, but I have been just thinking. I've just been on my mind a lot. <laughs> like, a lot of stuff's just been on my mind. A lot of, like, actually important stuff, and then just stupid shit like this, where I'm just kind of having fun little kind of discussions about the world. I'm still kind of scared to talk to Ellie through DMs. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, <laughs> I used to tell him all the time that he, uh, he was too nice to his fans. <laughs> There's a lot of people who used to be fans who are like, who I was just like, uh, damn, why are you friends with <laughs> Like, <laughs> that comes off so mean. I was just like, they clearly acted like fans. Like, it's one thing, like, here's the thing. Whenever, I think, okay. It's interesting for me to have this conversation because Ellie and I are kind of a duo, right? Like, we have a secret channel. And like, I say secret. We have like a private channel in our in his discord that's just ari and ellie like it's just us and some friends that we allow in there we had a youtube channel that was gonna be launched that was ari and ellie which i don't think either of us are super <laughs> invested in right now but maybe one day um like it is weird for me to say this because obviously he's one of my like main guys but like there's a lot of people who used to be fans who became kind of friends and then but they still in group chats and stuff would only talk to Ellie. We like being involved in communities and since we were smaller, it's a lot easier to reach out to us. It's easy for you to think we're friends, but I actually got angry at some people kind of forgetting about respect. Some people like to push you down to like make themselves shine a little. When it's a friend, it's okay. Exactly. Yeah, that's another thing. Ellie, Ellie and Phoenix and like Roth and like all of them make fun of me because I play that character of the punching bag and that's just fun, right? Like, I know that I do things to piss them off and that's great. Like, I think it's hilarious. I try not to go too far, obviously, because I have respect for them. Like, they're my friends. But, like, it is setting them up for a bit. It is setting them up to insult me or whatever and to do, like, have a funny moment or whatever, right? The problem is when people do that and I don't know you. I've I, I joined a Discord server once within our friend group and immediately, like, like, I think someone just made fun of me and was like, oh, look who decided to, <laughs> decided to show up or whatever. And then someone I don't know at all just started being a complete dick to me because I guess they thought I was okay. And I was just like, no. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm not okay with that. I, I don't think I've talked in that server since. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, it's, that, that is one thing. That is one thing that I've discussed with you before, actually. Like, I've just, not, like, you know, in a way of, like, we were fighting about it. I was just, like, having that discussion about, like, dude, you notice this? Like, do you notice how how that goes? I'm most scared of being too much because I am all the time. Dude, honestly, same. I was honestly so upset today because I, I, like, I got called out for being too, a little bit loud in, in my class because of the caffeine and stuff. Um, And I was like, oh, my God, I'm so, mu like, I'm too much. Like, I was felt so annoying. But, um, but, you know. Oh my god, I almost I almost saved it. Didn't though. Ah oh, fuck. Alright, I'm not like super tired. I think we can keep going a little bit. I know I said an hour, but like I'm having fun with this conversation and I have a little energy left. We're not gonna put a time limit or anything. Like if I wanna end, I'm just gonna end. Um because if you guys weren't here, if you came from the raid or if you weren't listening at the beginning, like I, I had I've had maybe six hours of sleep, five to six hours of sleep over the course of the last two days. Uh, so I'm I'm really like sick and tired. Like I need to sleep. You're very chill. Smells like whenever you do. Nice. You just wish me a good day. Yeah, the plate up streams. I'm glad you like them. I'm I'm having a lot of fun with them. Uh, next weekend we'll try again. Maybe we can try one of the franchises because we have, excuse me, we have two franchises saved up right now. Uh, I think one of them is Trippy Sippies, which I think could be a solid run if we want to. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I'm stressed out, man. Gonna be honest, real stressed out right now. <laughs> That's why I want to end at some point because like kind of early. Wow. So far back. Oh my gosh. I swear we're going to see this entire map before the end of the stream. Like this entire underneath. Um, oh my gosh. My stomach hurts a lot. 
it is most of the time how excited I was about the fucking stream. <laughs> I'm glad you had fun. Can't wait for next week. It's gonna be fun. Um, and we get you get more Ellie and Phoenix content because they're gonna be here Thursday for the finale of February, which will be a lot of fun. I'm excited for that. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm excited to have my free time. Like Friday, I have plans. Saturday, I have plans. Uh, Saturday. Oh yeah. I forgot. Saturday, I do have plans, so it's possible we don't do played up that day. I totally forgot about that. I'll see. I'll let you guys know because um, I finally have time to see my friends now, like more. Uh, and they they all hang out at night, obviously. So um, I'll let you know. Maybe we can do uh like a, a Monday played up instead to make up for it or something. We'll see. Now that February is over, I have more uh space to kind of. Take breaks, first of all, but also to make to do other streams. You and I already are different in terms of I'm way more comfortable with a lot of people where maybe you'll see them as my fanboys. But maybe I'm just going oblivious to that. Yeah, no, that's fair. That is 100%. It is like... He, like, when I call Ellie out for having fa like being friends with his fanboys or whatever, uh, that's just me... Sorry. Anyway. Um... Bishop and then it's really a lot harder to like let someone into a circle than for me. Best thing I have Bishop and Phoenix. I guess so. Yeah. I guess I guess you're right. I guess, but also like when Bishop and Phoenix showed up, they were not fanboying over you immediately. You know, like we let them in. Like I don't mind talking to people, right? My thing is like whenever we talk to people and we keep them around and then they just keep being an Ellie fanboy. <laughs> I, I just I just can't stand that and like when I call when I when I like make fun of Ellie for like you know oh my god this person's in and like fanboying over you like I'm not expecting him to just drop them like that's fine whatever like my opinion doesn't matter that much I just think it's uh it's funny it's just funny because it's it is a thing of like when you are the owner of your own server yeah you're gonna have fanboys in your in your friends like that's just how it's gonna go otherwise you have to just not like like, how the fuck do you think celebrities date, you know? Like, the celebrities are, like, everyone fucking knows them. Do you think they ever find people who don't know who they are somehow? Like, a, an ordinary person? No. Um. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's just, like, um. It's, I don't, it's. It, it's just interesting. Like, it's, it's difficult to find people who are not fanboys, I, I assume, sometimes. Um. But that is, like, the the difficulty with parasocial relationships. I think that was my main point with all of this, was, like, I never understood them before, but, like, I do get them now because of my experiences and because of watching Ellie. Um, you know. It's a lot of... I don't know. The internet is just interesting. It, it really changed the complete landscape of our entire fucking world, dude. Like... Um, it's a good island to me because if you like them, it's always a big plus because I know how hard it is for you to approve of someone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. There's people I don't fully approve of who don't even hang out anymore. <laughs> like, they've just disappeared. But the people I do approve of, like uh, Bishop and Phoenix, of course, like, they are, they're still around. Bishop's obviously busy because he's also at different time zone. It makes it harder. But Phoenix is here, like, all the time. Yeah, Phoenix I love. Phoenix, Phoenix is great. It's, <laughs> yeah. But when he approved her, I was like, <laughs> that's cute. Yeah. But yeah, I think, like, that's that's another thing, right? Like, th okay, this was another conversation I was having with some friends, which was, like, um, kind of, like, dealing with different opinions, right? Because we, we live in a, in, a, in a pretty polarized world now, I'd say. Like, I, I don't know if that's... I doubt that's America only. I feel like the world at large is getting more polarized. I think America is the poster child for it, but I think everywhere is getting a bit more difficult to like just love your neighbor, right? Um, so I was having this conversation with a friend of like, would you still, you know, be my friend if I don't know if I was like indifferent to Trump being elected or whatever, like stuff like that, like not necessarily liking him because liking him is a, a bit extreme, I'd say. I don't know if that's too political to say. It's my stream. Fuck you. I'm going to say what I want to say. Um, yeah, like, it, it's just like, 
would you still be my friend if I was indifferent? And I'm like, well, yeah, because I dislike him, obviously. Uh, but I can also see how it can... Like, you can still be friends with people and stuff who have different opinions. And for me and Ellie, it's a very different thing of what I'm talking about, where it's not politics, it's just how I approve of people and how he approves of people, right? So that's, like, that's very different. Because, um, I mean... It's not fucking about human rights and shit. But, like, it's the same gist, right? It's the same thing. Of course, the American thinks they're the poster child. I mean, we're the poster child of being horrible and horrible to each other. I think that that's fair. <laughs> I think it, we're definitely the poster child of of polarization. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Find me any country that is this angry with two like with a bipartisan system just constantly fighting fuck man i swear to god i mean it's it, it's p politics to me the moment you have free permission to set foot in ari and levc you're pretty much approved yeah 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 there's a couple people in there and they're all they all have to be approved by both me and ellie obviously because it's the name of the vc so when you're in there you're approved um even though we don't use that vc often but <laughs> but we still have it um but yeah, it's, um, what was I saying? I think that politics is like the fucking Super Bowl or like the W, like WWE. <laughs> okay. Like a lot of people are saying like NFL is rigged and like, I wouldn't be surprised because it's not the first time a sport's been rigged. Uh, I'm not going to say it is rigged because I'm sure people would be annoyed if I said that. Hi, Wismus. Welcome. Like, I'm sure people would be annoyed if I said that. Like, oh my God, I think the NFL is actually not rigged. Whatever. Fuck you. I don't care. I don't watch this. I didn't watch the Super Bowl this time. I saw the halftime show and I saw Usher really getting it on with a married woman. <laughs> and then and then I left. Um, but, um, fucking, uh, what was my point? <laughs> I made myself laugh too much. Um. But yeah, I, I think that politics at this point is just fucking, it's just like, it's just a fucking, t it's a reality show. That's all it really is. I, I was listening to a podcast today. It's, it's, uh, it, it is like, a, uh, the founders, of, two of the founders of Rooster Teeth have a little podcast where they talk about their memories from Austin and they talk about, you know, uh, the city and how the city's changed and stuff, which it's funny. I watched that never been to Austin. I don't know if I'll ever go, but, uh, it, they were talking about how, like, you know, they're 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 older, like forties. So they've seen a lot of politics. They've seen they've followed it for a long time. And one of them was like, Yeah, I've seen politics. They just over regulate something and then that causes issues. So then they under regulate it so that those issues go away and then that causes issues and it's just back and forth. And that's all politics is. It's just people constantly just making changes so that they can get reelected and make money and do all that stuff, get all the fame and power and stuff, and then making way for the other party to get in and and undo that stuff and then they redo it and then they undo it and it's all just a bunch of bullshit <laughs> now like it's different for human rights i think identity politics take over the rest of politics but like all the other stuff like all the fucking regulations and shit like all the the real politics not human rights which have been super like just put in the media to like you know get people hyped and, and angry like all the actual politics shit that's all just a back and forth just to fucking like we do make actual progress in human rights because that is like that's also something that's just for people to be angry about right but like the like the when you want to like for example crime crime rates every single fucking mayor and every governor wants to be the one who lowered crime so they have to keep making crime go up so that they can lower it again <laughs> it's that's all it is Twice now you get to that little wooden house and I blink and you're back down here. <laughs> I'm trying my best, man. It's hard. Ellie, you should play this game. See see how well you do. But yeah, I just think politics is fucking insane. That's why I like Succession. Because it's just, they make fun of politics so hard. Like, Shiv is a politician and she's a good one and nobody respects her. I mean, like, the people who are politicians respect her, but her whole family just does not give a shit. She could have been, like, a step away from the president and everyone was like we don't give a shit they have the president on the line and they're like yeah we don't give a shit like who cares they call him the raisin in the show like <laughs> i just it's so funny i don't know 
and I'm listen. Here's the thing. I'm saying a lot of stuff. I'm sure some of this could be like taken out of context to mean something I don't want it to mean. So you know, you know, I'm everything I'm saying is like, you know who I am, right? Like you know that everything I say is based off my very specific scenarios. And if you create a scenario where suddenly it doesn't make sense what I said, then I probably didn't think of that. I love that she's also a terrible person, dude. Everyone in that show is. It's great. It's what makes it lovely. That's why, dude. The shows with the worst people are the best shows, I swear to God. Bojack, Sunny, Succession, The Bear. Literally some of my biggest hyper like fixations or obsessions or whatever you want to call them. Some of my biggest like obsession obsessions of her shows have been with terrible people. I don't know. I don't know where it is. Also, when I was younger, um I used to be obsessed with Minecraft and I'd watch Beijing Canadian play Hunger Games like 24 7 like he had 800 videos out so i'd binge them and um he and his friends also kind of played that bit of like being piece of shit um so i think maybe i just like shitty people to be honest i just like people yelling at each other it reminds me of home i'm kidding <laughs> oh that's funny um anyway yeah i fucking love that show dude it's a good show but yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's just a lot of, it's just a lot of bullshit. So what's the meaning of life, guys? Like, if you actually, like, if you genuinely want, I was just asking that as a joke. If you were genuinely to ask that, what do you think the most important thing would be to you in your life? I don't know. I said my piece. I know what I think is the most important. For me, it's animals. Interesting. Like, your life would mean nothing to you. Like, nothing else would matter. Everything would be gray and bullshit and fucking nothing if you didn't have animals. Interesting. Good, nice. I like that answer. It's good. That's also what I'm saying. It's different for everyone. For me, it's my people. Like, it's whatever my support system is, basically. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck off. Damn it! I can't fucking get past that goddamn rock wall. I don't know how we're going to do this tomorrow. I want to beat this game tomorrow, and I think it was ASAP or someone who said, like, oh, yeah. Or no, I think it might have been Keith or someone who was like, yeah, I've played this game for 100 hours before I beat it for the first time. Um, ugh, I don't even remember who it was. I'm sorry. But, God, it's, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a fucking while because I keep falling more. All right, let's give this one last, last run. If we fall even back down here, I think I'm done because I really need some rest. Um, as you guys know, but, oops. There we go. But yeah, I hope you guys had fun with this little discussion. I, I thought it was interesting. I'm going to take more social science courses. I wish there was a an overarching, maybe there is, maybe there is. I wish there was an overarching degree. Uh, just in social sciences. I don't know if that's just a lip. That's not a liberal arts major, is that? I want to be a zookeeper, work with animals. They make me happy and feel at peace. They make me laugh and just happy. And nothing else can make me feel as happy as animals. <laughs> I had fun with it. Hell yeah. For me, it's family, I guess. If my bro or dad or sister needs anything, I'm always going to go the extra mile to help them out. That's valid. I appreciate that. I can appreciate that. That's sweet. I realize you figure out your mom in that one, in that, in that sentence, but you know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He says, he says like, oh yeah, my family's the most important to me. And I make a joke about his dead mom who died from cancer, which is kind of crazy. All right, I want to do one more. I want to do one more run because that was so unsatisfying the way I fell there. Um, yeah. What was I saying? I was saying something. I'm looking forward to you losing tours. Huh? Huh? <gasps> Ellie has a really good uh, clip of me going, huh? And that's in his Discord now. If you guys want to join, uh, discord.gg slash Ellie Beatmaker. Uh, and it's a really funny soundboard. I'm looking forward to you losing yours. <laughs> that's funny. That's fucked up. Uh, for me, it's only a few people I really get along with, but then I'm there for whatever you need. Aw. Do you hear what happened to Bishop? What happened to Bishop? Is Bishop okay? I haven't talked to the man in a bit, and I haven't heard about him in a second. Oh shit. Is he alright? 
He's lost his mom. I don't know how, but I'm guessing his son. Oh, that's fucking rough. I'll message him after stream. That's so fucking rough. Yeah, I haven't I haven't really heard from him much. He seemed to be doing alright last I heard from him, but if it was sudden, then yeah, that's fuck man. That's so fucking sad, man. Like we make jokes about Ellie's dead mom because he has had fucking over a decade to get over it and and stuff. But it's it's not it's not really a joke. Like it is fucking brutal. Broke my heart because I know he feels. Yeah, I understand that. Well, I don't understand that, but I get what you mean. It's fucking fucked, man. I'm over it, but like when it happens to someone you care about, it sucks. Yeah, exactly. Like you don't want anyone to deal with that. Like. I haven't lost anyone like that, and even I'm obviously like, holy shit. And if you have lost someone like that, you probably relate way more, and you're like, fuck, man. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta message him after stream. Make sure he's doing all right. That's fucking rough, man. <laughs> I don't know where to go from here. <laughs> I don't want to just talk about Bishop the whole time because he's not here, and I, I don't know if he wants the attention right now, but yeah. Fuck, dude. Yeah, we, uh, like I said earlier, Bishop is lovely. He's the best, but he is a different time zone, so I haven't talked to him much, which sucks. Same with Zaki, but Zaki hasn't been around at all. Oh my god, my shoulder fucking hurts. Um, I never actually hope you lose someone close to you. Yeah, I know, I know. I know. Ellie likes to joke that he hopes my mom dies so that he can fucking make fun of me for it. I'm just like, all right. I didn't prey on your mom's demise. She just kind of went. <laughs> like, that's not my fault. Um, <laughs> We're not getting... I like. I'm going to give this like a couple more tries, but we're not even getting past this part, and I think I'm just losing my fucking mind. I can also feel my mouse getting stuck at the edge of my mouse pad, and the edge of my mouse pad is like an LED strip thing, so it it doesn't have the- oh my god, do you see that bounce? That was fucking beautiful. That was a fucking bee hop right there. Um, yeah, it, it, it doesn't have the full sensor. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. For $20? Only 20 Holy shit. Yo, guys, Ellie's OnlyFans is cheap as fuck. Ellie does have an OnlyFans. I also have an OnlyFans. I haven't used it at all. But, yet. But, <laughs> but, you know. Friends special. <laughs> My alarm just went off. I was actually keeping that alarm for 11 to just be like, you know what? I'll at least end by then, probably. So, yeah, we're getting close to the end, I think. Fuck it. Yeah, okay, that's it. We fucking fell again. I'm done. Oh my gosh. Yo, guys, it's been fun, though. I'm glad. I was honestly, I was scared that this stream would be boring, because I'm, I mean, look at me. It's like, I'm just <laughs> fucking, I'm gone, bro. Um, But, yeah, it's been fun. <laughs> I didn't mean that in a bad way. I, meant, I thought you wanted to end earlier. <laughs> yeah, no, I got you, I got you. Yeah, I did want to end earlier, but I had fun. Um, Ellie, I swear to God, if you, if you go where you're going to go. You play a torture game after having a rough day. Oh, okay. That's where you're going to go. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, the torture game's fun, though. It's honestly kind of satisfying. It's nice. You make progress, you lose progress. But I know I know it's not a super long game like Bread and Fred. And I know what I was getting into, so it's not too bad. Um, Yeah, the rough day was, was hella rough. Oh, my God. Um, I'm not super excited for the rest of this week because I have a lot of work to do. And I also want to give you guys a good finale to February. So... You know, tomorrow might be a little more excited, hopefully. Hopefully I have the energy. If it's chill, that's fine too. We're going to do Phasma, which will be super exciting. And we're going to do Fall Guys, which will be super exciting. So, you know, if tomorrow's chill, kind of laid back, I don't mind that. But, uh, but yeah, I want to give you guys a good finale. So I definitely, I got to get some sleep. I got to get some work done. Um, Got to lock the fuck in, baby. But yeah, YouTube, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you tomorrow. Much love. Goodbye.